So, I have never shed even one tear over any of the mean things people have said on my channel. First of all, I don't read the whole thing because I can tell right away where they're going and I'm not going to allow that to be spoken to me. Um, lunch is ready, so... Is this, um, this is a little soft. Okay, lunch is ready, so no. This is wrong. No, hold on just a minute. So I've never, ever cared, ever. The most it does to me is frustrate me that people can't just keep their mouth quiet you know that's frustrating I just think it's annoying I'm just like if you don't like it don't watch it <laughs> you know um, that's the most hold on just a second no and um, the other is heart when it's believers or people that are claiming to be believers it's heartbreaking to see what a horrible picture they are of Christ's love to everyone who's watching and reading their comments that is the worst when non-believers comment, it's just like, well, duh, what else do you expect? For them to be sweet and kind? Of course not. But when believers comment, that's when it's the worst. When I'm just like, guy, can you like comment to me personally if you really want to talk about this? But if you're just doing this out of a lack of self-control and critical heart and judgmental, horrible, mean self, then be quiet! You're claiming to be a believer and you're being the worst picture of Christ to everyone that's watching this. You're supposed to be my brother in the Lord or my sister in the Lord. No, you're not, first of all, because that is not how believers act. And second of all, non-believers don't know that. So you have just destroyed ministry opportunities everywhere because of your lack of self-control. So that's the most I feel from uh, bad, mean comments. You know, it never has hurt my feelings because these people don't know me at all. I don't care what they think of me. They don't know me. But for the people that do like my channel and are encouraged and have reached out to me and we've shared great conversations, I genuinely care for those people because they've let me into their life and I've let them into mine and we have a relationship even though it's a virtual. It's really neat how the Lord can bring brothers and sisters in the Lord sisters in the Lord together even across you know across the world so there's some really really great stories that have come out of my YouTube channel and there's a lot of negative comments that I completely ignore that don't, don't even phase me if they did I wouldn't still be doing this you know I continue doing this for those that are blessed by it so I hope that answers your question um, Sorry if it's a sorry answer, but it's just the, where I'm at right now, and maybe one day I'll do it differently. But for now, I'm going to devote my time and energy to the people that are worth my time and energy. Yeah, I know? <laughs>